hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how to grip box braid and also show you how to hide colored natural hair under braiding hair so stay tuned for this tutorial so for this tutorial i'm gonna be using about five packs of the supreme expression hair it already comes pre-stretched it's two in one i put on the link on to where you can get the hair in the description box so please check it out i really love the hair the texture is just amazing especially when you put it in hot water it doesn't come out looking um trashy like some other hair out there so check it out if you're interested in the description box down below so the first thing I did was to comb my hair through to make sure there is no tangly and I'm just going to tuck the hair, the rest of her hair into like a ponytail, like a bun. So I'm going to apply my shine and jam. This is also in the description box down below. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my comb and comb the product through into a natural hair and I'm just going to part a hair from the left temple to the right tempo so the next thing i'm gonna do is to apply the shine and jam on the part and i'm gonna take my cutting comb and just part it again to clean the parts that way you have a nice neat finished look so i'm using the clip to tuck the rest of the hair away so it's not getting in the way so because she's getting the large jumbo sacks braid i'm using the rubber bands to hold it together so it's not um, coming out after a couple of days so next thing you want to do is to take your braiding hand and place it on top of the natural hair and you want to use your finger to pat it into three and you're just going to keep braiding and hiding the natural hair under the extension braiding hair so you want to make sure you're placing the blonde hair at the back of the braiding hair that way it looks invisible and it makes it look like our natural hair color is black so as you're crisscrossing you want to make sure you're braiding it tight as possible as you can and you want to make sure you are hiding the black and the blonde hair at the back of the extension braiding hair hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing and if not um, just keep watching i'm sure you'll get it um, by the time i get to the top So this is what we have so far as you can see our hair color is not in any way showing in the extension hair when it hurts like this.
section your hair um, you can do it all before you start braiding or you can do it as you go whichever way is convenient for you so at uh, edges right there i noticed our edges is thinner so i'm just gonna crochet in a little piece of hair to reduce the tension on our edges and that way it's not sliding out after a um, couple of days so like i said earlier on you're going to make sure you're braiding as tightly as possible and you're flipping the colored hair to the back of the extension hair and you can also add in piece of hair in the middle that way the ends of a braid is not looking too thin because some of the expression hair can pre feathered and their ends is looking too thin um, sometimes <music> take your scissors or your lighter to trim the hair i prefer the lighter because it's faster and it makes it look as neat as possible so to make sure there is no flyaways of hair or anything like that um, you can use the lighter it's up to you it's what you prefer so um, when you're done trimming i'm just gonna put the hands of the hair in hot water and i'm just gonna dry it so it's not leaking all over our body and i'm just gonna lay the edges and that's pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as i did if you have any questions please don't forget to leave it down below in the comment section also please give this video a thumbs up and also turn on your notification bell that's way you don't miss a thing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed 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 day bye